All right, guys, I'm gonna do a quick little unboxing today of this uh, Parkit 360. This is an electric trailer dolly, which I got because, as you guys can see back there, it's a fairly narrow spot for my boat. And in order for me to be able to go around it, I have to park it really close to the wall on this side. That way I have a little bit of room on the other side to go around the boat and access the back. So, backing it in here with the car, it's nearly impossible. And then I had to push it in by hand, which is even harder, especially if you're doing it by yourself. So that's why I decided to buy this dolly. And I purchased this from Canada actually and I paid about 2500 Canadian dollars that's with the taxes and I know it's fairly expensive but they actually had a sale going on $300 off which they haven't had at all and I've been looking at these for quite some time and this is the only time I've seen them do a sale so I think it's a good investment, especially because I'll be using it a lot. This is the, let me see, 5K B2 model. I'm gonna put a little link in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in the box. I'm gonna assemble it and hopefully do a little demo, show you guys how it works. And also, I'm going to let you guys know what I think of it, whether it's worth the investment. So, let's get to it. Alright, let's see what's in the box first. show you guys how this looks in the box so this is what's in the box right now as you can see it's really nicely packaged it's got the tires this also comes with the batteries so I'm gonna go through this do an assembly I might have to fast forward the video about the assembly because it might take me a while so let's start with that
Okay, so let me go over what we have here. The assembly was fairly easy. So all you had to do is attach the handle, put in the battery, connect it, plug it in here, and that's it. It's assembled. Comes with a 2 5 16 ball and also a 2 inch, which I have in there. And a cable. So this is for charging the battery. This does have a charger. You have to do is plug it in here and plug it in the outlet. And this is for the brakes, I believe, which I don't have. I do have brakes on it, which is what I'm gonna have to figure out, but my brakes are different. I'm gonna have to put this somehow in here to prevent this from moving back. That way I can move this backwards so we'll see how that goes but other than that at the front here you have a voltage meter tells you the battery condition we have high speed low speed and this right here is if you want to move the whole thing manually then you have to switch this down if you want to move it electronically move it up and this is where you go forward and reverse so let's see if i can set up the camera and show you guys how this works okay let's give this a try I won't be able to move it too much right now because I have way too much stuff in here now and I can't move this out until I have a back shed which will sometime this year but let's see how it goes. I have it on low right now. So it moves it pretty good downwards and this is on low speed so it can go faster than this and let's see if I can push this back oh, works perfectly again it's on low speed has absolutely no problems pushing the boat so works good. What I'm gonna do is once I have my dry weight done, I'm gonna do another video of this of how I'm backing in the boat into the garage. And yeah, so far looks really good. I'm glad I bought it because it pushes it real easy. Steering it a bit, so it is a little bit harder to steer. You are gonna have to push and pull hard on this, but yeah, once I'm able to do pull this out out of my garage, so I empty the garage, then I'll do another video on it. So, hope you guys enjoy this and make sure to check back for more videos.